Hello there, this is Rom Wills coming back at you with yet another video. The Black Woman's Real Enemy. Uh, yeah, it's been a while since I got a whole bunch of thumbs down on a video, but uh, I gotta speak on this. I gotta speak on this because I'm telling some truth, and some right thinking women gonna realize I am telling the truth. And, you know, the thing. Like, you know, I go through different YouTube videos every now and then and just, you know, pay attention generally what's going on on social media. Also, I got people who just send me stuff, <laughs> right? And, you know, the big thing now is kind of like, you know, you have some sisters that want to go, you know, after the brothers talking all this, you know, negative stuff, supposedly negative stuff about black women on social media. And, you know, there's some stuff there and everything. But, you know, sometimes sometimes it's, it could be construed as negative. Uh, sometimes it's just men being honest. But that's actually irrelevant to uh, my point is. Those brothers are not the uh, ones sisters need to be concerned about. Brothers doing some YouTube videos or expressing their opinion or, you know, from their perspective. Hey, <laughs> that's not the problem. You know? All these sisters who getting up in arms and stuff, don't focus on that dude who might have, uh, I don't know, 10,000 subscribers and get maybe 5,000 or so views a video. He's not your problem. You want to know your problem? Shoot. Look at my thumbnail. Yep, got Maury up there, right? And I could have used, I could, and I, he's just, it's not just more. I could have used like several, several talk show hosts, daytime talk show hosts. Because what do they have in common? They show black women in a bad light. Think about it. They ain't on YouTube. They on national TV. They got syndicated shows. Y'all don't think, and you don't think for a second. That's not shaping not just the perception of other black men, but other black women and people from around the world. That's the real enemy, the media. They the ones promoting those images. Like men, like black men, we've already known that. We've been saying that a while. But see, a lot of sisters didn't get it. Because a lot of times, since they were talking trash about the brothers, usually on behalf of the sisters, sisters weren't peeping it, but... Really sit back. Anybody with any intelligence, sit back and peep these different TV shows. These, these, all these uh, shows like Maury or uh, Steve Wilco's got a show. I mean, it was recently something about the Steve Wilco showing that uh, that kid who uh, wasn't the father of some young girl's kids. Y'all don't think all that make black women look bad? There ain't some YouTuber doing that. You got some YouTuber broadcasting from, you know, a room, you know, in his home or something. Shoot, some don't even have that. They broadcast, they out driving broadcasting. You think that has a more of an impact than seeing some uh, foolishness on national TV? Syndicated several times a day? And it's like all the shows. Now, I know y'all say, well, you got some white women on there. But here's the problem. Here's the problem with that. When you have white women on there, you immediately have several other shows showing white women in a positive light. See, that's the big thing about the media. And see, brothers been saying this all along. But see, a lot of sisters haven't been speaking out about it. And see, you're not talking just about the talk shows and stuff. The reality shows? Think about it. Think about the reality shows? Shoot, they killing y'all. How that how that making black women look? And y'all talking about some YouTuber? And see, I understand it's an issue. Don't get me wrong, it's an issue. But sometimes you're looking at what you what you think to be a small fry, and you think I'ma shut him up. I'ma get his channel shut down. You know, I'ma flag him. Yeah, okay. Meanwhile, on Maury, you have a show. You have, uh, you know. Some young black woman, some ghetto black woman who for many people around the world represents black women. See, all the educated sisters, y'all should be up in arms over that. Y'all should be boycotting it. 
or some of these court shows and shoot even that uh even paternity court now i made very clear i'm a big fan of lauren lake but think about how some of the sisters are coming on that show looking and you know and it's not just a show but it's just the overall thing but y'all get mad at the brothers see and the brothers see i'm, I'm gonna be real i'm just gonna be raw with it. okay who get mad about it back i'm gonna say it again back when they were talking shit about brothers starting in the late 70s Hell, might have been before that because I saw a cartoon <laughs> saying it was before that. And sisters were up there cosigning like, mm-hmm, yeah, mm-hmm. Yeah, I didn't think that shit was going to turn on y'all. Think about it. <laughs> think, think, think about it. Because you can't help but think that if you sitting there, especially if you get some young kids, say, yeah, you say you get some young, uh, some young black boy, right? He being raised in the suburbs. He ain't around a lot of black folks. And, you know. He get more of an impression off of uh, some reality show than he does off, you know, other than the women in his family, maybe. Shoot, what are he gonna, what are he gonna immediately go for? Think about it. See, that's the real enemy. Now, like I said, I'm seeing some sisters they want to start organizations and all of that stuff. I'm like, shoot, y'all need to be, <laughs> y'all need to be boycotting all these talk shows. Y'all need to be saying something. As soon as some of these reality shows hit the air, y'all need to be saying something instead of watching it. Or even some of these TV shows. I mean, I know a lot of sisters. I'm going to mention one scandal. That would really wasn't making y'all look good. Yeah, I mean, I know a lot of women were getting into it and stuff, but that shit wasn't making you look good. You know, because people, this is how people think. You know, the subconscious doesn't make a distinction between reality and fiction. If it sees it, it goes in. Now, you're seeing all, you know, you got people around the world seeing all of this, and they're going to treat you accordingly. Because I'm going to be real. I'm going to be real. I've had several white men and white women. And this for the swirlers. I've had several white men and white women. Because I keep, I have a generally calm demeanor and I got a way about me that people are comfortable speaking whatever's really on their mind. They've asked, said, they've said some negative stuff about black women and where they're getting it from. Now, even personal observations like, well, this is what y'all doing on TV and all of that stuff. Think about it. I'm, I, I pause right there just to let you think about that. You see, that's the real enemy. Yup, shoot. <laughs> Y'all up here tripping over, I don't know, somebody somebody with 2,000 followers and 2,000 subscribers. Y'all tripping over what they saying. And y'all thinking, well, if I, we get them shut down, but hey, take that same energy. Take that same exact energy. And don't go, don't go after some uh, subscriber or, you know, some YouTuber or don't even go after YouTube itself. Shoot, you hit some of those big multi-billion dollar corporations that's airing this stuff. You know, don't get mad at the rapper who's saying some negative stuff. Get mad at the person who's uh, paying that bill. Because that's, that's where the real fight is. That's the real enemy. And they promoting that image. Why? Because they know it sells and that's what they want. And they know they're going to make money of it, over it. See, that's where the protest should be. But see, like I said, and I've said this several times during this video, yeah, back when uh, it was just the brothers catching hell, yeah, everybody was co-signing. Now that shit's turning back on you, and then y'all want to think it's y'all blaming some brothers for speaking up. I was like, nah, they don't, they don't control these. Uh, they ain't the producers on these TV shows. And you see the, those all those TV hosts, shoot. They get they and it's like, yeah, they making their money because it's seemingly the supply of black women who want to go on and show their shit on national TV is endless. And I know, I know, somebody gonna say, well, what about the brothers? I'm gonna tell you what, and this is something nobody can doubt. Brothers be checking each other all the time and calling out other brothers all the time. So you know, we've already already been saying something, but see. A lot of times we ain't have partners in this. So, you know what? That's 
the enemy. I don't, I don't care what y'all. Y'all can try to pretend like it's somebody else, but you always got to look. You always got to look higher. You got to look at the man behind the curtain. You know? Because trust me, if you get a critical mass of women who can still go on national TV and talk about they can't find a good black man who say, you know what? We tired of these reality shows who's showing black women in a negative light. We tired of these talk shows always showing like negative black women. Because I know, look, let's be real. We know all sisters ain't like that. But that's what's being shown. That's the enemy. And see, that's what's shaping perceptions. So, I, you know, I had to say this. I, I had to say this. See, I'm the type of, I'll shoot. I immediately look at who's standing behind whoever's speaking. I learned that. I learned that because uh, it used to be, uh, well, I can't say what I used to do, but let's just say it involved paying attention to uh, people in power. And one thing I learned, never look at the spokesman. Never look at the spokesman. Always look at that person standing behind them, right? I give you an example of that. No, I ain't. I ain't even gonna get into that. That that takes us into another thing. But always look at. Always look at who's behind that person. Politician. Everybody. Shoot. Even now, Trump. I want to see who's behind him. So, you know, for the sisters out there, hey, keep. Hey, get all that righteous energy. You know, you gotta take a stand. But remember, go for the people who's really causing the issue. You know, step to them. Now, if you step to them, hey, you know what? You got my back. But anything else, anything else is a waste of time. Because the thing I can guarantee, thing I can guarantee, a month from now, I can pick any talk show. You know, I could just, I could just, I could just sit at home, wait, and probably before, I don't know. <laughs> Probably before I finish my breakfast, there's going to be some trifling shit on, t- on TV showing a black woman in a negative light. So that that's the, the media. The media. And the media images. So, anyway. I had to say that. I, I ain't had to rant on it or anything. But, uh, you know, I'm, I'm that type of person. I, I'd rather get right. i go for the jugular. And i go right to the point of... Uh, where a real problem is. So, that's it. Anyway, that's it for today. I'll talk to you later. Peace.